Today's topic on Straight Talk is kind of an inside story, how robotics and automation impacts cleaning and maintenance in the 21st century. Very important topic, very important discussion as we think about productivity issues for facility maintenance and management professionals. To help with this today, I'm pleased to welcome Peter Questro. He's the Global Business Development Director with Gaussium. Hi, Peter. Hi, thank you for your nice introduction, uh, Jeff. Nice to be here. Great to have you. You're like in the future. I could ask you what the future looks like. To be honest, I'm six hours ahead of you. So I'm a little bit in the future. You're right. Because this is actually a topic I'm, I'm talking about every day. When people visiting our experience center, they always say, oh, wow, this is, you know, the robots are something for the future. And I always have to correct them. I always say, no, no, this is not something for the future. And then they're first a little bit shocked that I say this. And then they understand, oh, you mean it's already today? I say, yes, exactly. It's not the future, it's today. <laughs> so... Agreed. Robotics, automation, it's its here and now. We kind of think about the future, but we see it in facilities today. And thank you for what you and your company have been doing to make this an easier uh, transition to automation. Let's talk about Gaussium and some history. What has changed over the years? Why don't you start with that, Peter? Well, it's, uh, it all started in 2013 with two guys that are, you know, uh, engineers that are making the first robot. And then they made a robot that could, uh, and it was a security robot. But later on, they asked them to make a cleaning robot, actually, on a big airport in Singapore. And this was the start of a long story now that's now going on for seven years. And they made the first robot in 2017, the, the Scrubber 75. And later on, we introduced other robots. And in 2020, 21, we made the, the biggest and largest assortment of clean robots globally, actually. And so this grow. And uh, even a year ago, we, we introduced the first uh, delivery robot. And in this year, actually, in the beginning of this year, uh, we introduced another robot that is called Phantos that is uh, really bringing the cleaning robots to another level of cleaning. Peter, thank okay. you for that information. Great company. I understand you not only invent and manufacture technology, but you've been recognized as a leader in the industry. Tell us about some recent wins. Well, we are very happy and proud that we won on the latest uh, Interclean show in Amsterdam in May. We won the Innovation Award with our robot. But, uh, because of the, the ability that we can also do now spot cleaning. So the robot doesn't have to clean all of the floor, only it can concentrate on stains. And we also won the European uh, Cleaning Journal Innovation of the Year Award in April this year. And um, we won several, uh, how you say this, uh, design awards with our robots, like the red dot and the silver pen. So not only the technology, we won uh, some, uh, some nice prizes, but also on the design part. And of course, our core strength is our you know, own developed software. Where is a, a, like example, our Slam or our mobile app or cloud platform. Everything we developed in-house by ourselves. So we're not depending on any third party. We were working about uh, uh, over 500 uh, R&D engineers at our company. They're really doing a great job in uh, making, you know, in creating the future as we just discussed. And uh, with this uh, future uh, elements and this, 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 you know, this, this, uh, well, this urge to to be better and to go beyond where everybody else uh, has been, we're now uh, ahead of the market, and, and, and we lifted actually the cleaning robotics and the way you can handle them uh, to another level today. Yeah. Very cool. How mm -hmm. is your company impacting automation globally, and what does this really mean for facilities? looking at labor shortages and productivity challenges? Well, first of all, we have, I think we have a task, uh, we, this is the way we feel it, to, to promote uh, people's awareness of, you know, and, and manage the expectations of what a clean robot can do for them. But uh, today we are more than 45 countries or across uh, six continents. And of course, uh, uh, labor shortage is everywhere, except a few regions of the world. We have a declining, you know, the demographic situation here. So the people that are working are declining rapidly and robots can uh, do a very good task there. They can take away uh, uh, a lot of strength, a lot of stress from the cleaners. They can read their, really their, be their buddy and they can save a lot of time for companies and for the cleaners. So everybody will be happy to have a robot on, on her or his side. 
and it makes you much more efficient. And you know, you don't need uh, a more uh, extended cleaning staff that you still can't get in this moment. So it saves a lot of problems actually. And of course it makes a, you know, your building much cleaner. Great solution, great strategy to embrace. Peter, let's talk about uh, new products and innovation. Mm -hmm. What are you doing that is truly unique? Well, uh, thank you for this question because we are very thrilled to, to, uh, to introduce to the world the Fantas, we call it. And this is a, a robot that can do uh, the mapping by itself. So anybody that worked with a cleaning robot before or is interested in the cleaning robot should know that until now, you always have to map a space, map a building with a robot. This takes some time, mostly done by an expert, to be able to use a cleaning robot. And now we pass this stage. So our robot is now so so intelligent or so smart, that's just what the way you might like to call it, that he can do his own mapping. So we just turn it on, it drives away, makes the map, and then it comes back. And then you have a choice of vacuum your place or scrubber and dry at your place or sweep to your place or dust mop your place. So it's a four in one, actually an all in one solution. And uh, well, with the, uh, together with the uh, unique uh, spot cleaning ability on this robot as well, and the fact that it can go under tables and desks, you have a most comprehensive robot you will ever uh, have seen in this market. So we're very happy and thrilled to introduce this in October of this year. In August, we will start the mass production of this one. And there was a lot of attention for this robot on the Interclean also in Amsterdam. At some point, we had over 200 people standing there uh, get, taking a look from the robot because this is something else and this is exactly where a lot of people in our industry are waiting for to take away you know the, the little bumps and the little things they have against robotics that you have to do some installation and now you don't then uh, we think we really uh, bring something to the market that has not been there before so we're really happy uh, so thank you for this question because we're very excited to bring this to the market well, that sounds like a great innovation and I'll take one of those robots. So just send it up, send it to me. I'll pay shipping. Just okay, kidding. I, I understand you want this, uh, Jeff. <laughs> we, we will think about it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Another question, Peter, for those considering automation and robotics for their facilities, what would you tell them? Well, to be honest, because I want to do this realistically, you know, I don't want to sell something that is, you know, a miracle machine. It's still a machine, but you have to have some uh, rules there, of course, which you can do and you cannot do. So first of all, I would advise those people to invite somebody with a robot to do a side check. So they come to your place, not someplace else, not your own place, and they take a snapshot, a free snapshot. Of course, you don't have to pay for such a service. And they, they have to explain you and tell you what is possible, what is not possible. So the, we manage your expectations. So we don't sell you something or we discuss something that is you know, not possible afterwards. And after that, of course, it's important how to integrate the robot with the cleaners. So how they can work most efficient with, together with the robot. Because it's a real cooperation. It's not that robots are, are replacing people. They're just a super tool that make their, uh, you know, their, their, their job, uh, their task much easier to do, actually. So, and in efficiency, of course, and time saving, and also the cleanliness, it will, everything it will bring to a higher level. And to deal with this, of course, you need some little uh, advice uh, from, from the people that are working with the robots for, for several years now. So this is what, is what I would uh, advise to them. And then together, you, you can, of course, always make a you know, return on investment calculation. So also the financial uh, side of it, you can uh, calculate together and, and everybody will see that this is a very uh, attractive and appealing solution that saves not only uh, a lack of staff, but also economically uh, brings a lot of efforts to the market. Well, that sounds like a real strategy with onboarding a new technology. Uh, very smart plan, Peter. Thank you for sharing that. As we wrap up, any final words to those watching you would like to share? I would say if you really think about this, then please, you know, uh, contact us or visit us. We are coming to Chicago in October as well to the US. So we are very welcome to come and miss, uh, see us there, to see the robot real life there driving around. And we are very happy to, to explain more about the robotics and what they can do and not can do. And I would say follow us on social media as well. 
where we will have some images and videos and, and we will bring you the news and uh, the new uh, you know, things that are coming to the markets because uh, we, we developed already a lot, but we are still not satisfied. So we will uh, keep on uh, you know, trying to lead this market and to bring new stuff to the market as well. So uh, I hope to uh, meet one of you or, or one of your listeners and you, of course, Jeff, uh, as well, uh, soon, somewhere in, in this industry. Well, I'll be at ISSA North, Show North America in Chicago, as you will be. And I'll come by and I'll be one of those spectators watching the demonstrations. I'll see you in Chicago.